You know, I'm trying to figure out the best ways to go about getting you a jacuzzi, Dad. This way you have that big hydrotherapy bath that's heated and you can float and decompress your vertebrae like that. Because just trying to do yoga with the fragile condition you're in and those bones being brittle, you know, it's risky without another nurse and physical therapist on either side of you as you get up and down, you know? Whereas if we have the jacuzzi and heated pool, you can decompress the vertebrae that are all compressed at the top of your spine, around your neck, your shoulders, and your lower back where you have the kyphoplasty and surgery. Um, so I know that it, it hurts and that you have a lot of pain and those shoulders are bothering you, but we really need to make sure you do keep moving around. That's why they wrote you the prescription for physical therapy and the walks are great and all, but if your upper back is all hunched over and the only movement you're getting is to lay in bed, walk a little bit and then sit in the chair, it's actually not allowing your body to get the rest it needs and to heal. So first thing Monday morning, going to call about the physical therapy and uh, see about um, see how I'm going to be able to afford to buy you like a pool and jacuzzi thing dad I mean I, I'm really uh, I'm looking at different uh, I got some gigs coming up and different ways to finance uh, because it's more than just like a pool. It's like you need like one of those hydrotherapy things. It has these jets, like bubble jets that massage you. There's another one where you can, it's like a tube you can roll in and out of. But the thing would be able to float, to be able to float weightlessly, almost like in, a, in an isolation tank bubble kind of thing where you can relax and float and um, also have Epsom salt relax your muscles and decompress those vertebrae. Um, this will greatly improve your quality of life. To the viewers out there, friends, family, and fans, please, if you can, donate even just a dollar to my dad's GoFundMe page. I'm really trying to get him the help he needs, the the pool, the jacuzzi, the, the heated body of water where he can go and actually decompress his spine, his vertebrae. He's suffering from excruciating chronic pain due to years of multiple myeloma and he's anemic. So sometimes he needs blood transfusions and it's been very hard for him to exercise with the frail condition of his bones. He had two stem cell transplants and beat the myeloma and was given immunotherapy, which has helped him tremendously for the multiple myeloma. And his bone bar marrow biopsy revealed it's more or less in remission. So these fractures that he's been experiencing recently have a lot to do with the bones being brittle. So it's not only dangerous for him to like walk and ride a bike and that sort of thing. Um, it's painful for him to even lay down and, and go inside the MRI machine and have the PET, PET scan, the PET scan and all the tests done and even go back and forth with me if there's a bump in the road. Um, so what I really need to do is sell some artwork and continue working and squirreling whatever money I can earn away to buy my father a jacuzzi. Um, and uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't stop short of renting a backhoe or borrowing one and digging a gigantic hole in my backyard, but there's a right way to go about things while you're the primary caregiver um, with practically no help. And then there's the, 
like long and drawn out crazy way. I also need to come up with about five to six thousand dollars to get a new car uh, that I would like to finance um, and uh, lease because I just don't have the time to keep going back and forth and asking our friends to fix it for us who have been so nice and generous uh, with their time to fix it if we pay for the parts. Um, just overwhelmed, so need to come up with that. So there's the GoFundMe page going around. There's Boffy Studio Fine Art Gallery. Please uh, help us out if you can. Even if a few million people donated 50 cents, it would really help alleviate much of the stress and the pain that my father's experiencing here. Um, this pandemic has been going on now a couple years, and I try my best and everything possible to keep him out of the hospital and to keep him without pain um, so that he can enjoy his life and not have to constantly feel uncomfortable. So it's important for me to get him a pool. So thank you for your support. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is what I do for my pain. I have brachial neuritis. And it requires that I constantly do these kinds of exercises because the nerve here that's in my scapula from my nerve junction box runs down my right arm to, through my chest and to my left arm and it causes this excruciating pain and um, like this tightness inside my shoulder that prevents me from getting a good night's sleep uh, and having like a pain-free life unless I do a lot of these exercises. Swimming is great for me too, but not be a lifesaver like it is for my dad, who hasn't even been to the beach now in years, uh, let alone left the house if it wasn't to go to the hospital. Um, so please, I'm really begging for your help, sympathy, generosity, and kindness into donating or purchasing some of the beautiful artwork we have for sale. Thank you very much. Um, I know that we're not the only ones struggling and having difficulty and that I'm not the only one going through this with their loved one. But it's still very real and very, very painful and difficult for us to afford the things that we need and make ends meet financially um, and to do so without anyone else. Um, so I've been learning all as much as I could about science, medicine, and, and gaining as much knowledge I can from the nurses each time um, I, I go there um, and present to them the different ailments and painful things my father's being afflicted from. So I feel very helpless at times, standing over his bed, watching him as he's in pain and not being able to offer him more in the ways of physical therapy and massage. Um, because massage is another thing not covered by health insurance that he could really benefit from. Uh, so again, thank you for your support. Um, you know who you are. It's just been super nice of y'all to help out. Um, and, um, I wish everyone a very happy, healthy, and safe year. Stay safe. Peace, love, and harmony. Fuck cancer. We're all in this together. Get vaccinated, mask up, stay safe. And if you could donate to my dad's GoFundMe, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.